Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back for another Death Row Duel video. Next match, Cross Bandless Cup. Um, so yeah, again arrived at the next group. So group E. And we have uh, two different decks. Uh, yeah, I made a minor mistake in uh, the previous matches here. So we already know the two decks that are going on to the top 16. So both uh, Shadals and uh, Evil Swarms are already uh, yeah, certain about their uh, top 16 spot. But yeah, again, they have... Yeah, they both uh, still have to uh, face each other here in a match that will be the next match uh, tomorrow I believe and uh, then we will see which deck will end up first place nine points here in the group uh, so the next match here we have a perfect circle so light and darkness dragon perfect circle uh, is paired up against zombies uh, deep sea diva zombies so let's take a look at both uh, deck lists the first deck list is of course, you know, Perfect Circle, Light and Darkness Dragon, Perfect Circle, LA, DD, um, very good of course, it replaced the Zoborg in the main deck, uh, it is pretty much an upgrade of John La Bounty's Perfect Circle deck list, but uh, you know, the, the main uh, things are here in the deck, the Triple Ryza and the Wing Blast to uh, pretty much lock your opponent out of the duel, to give him yeah, pretty much useless uh, draws, and Light and Darkness Dragon was a very nice boss monster to reborn, this commander still legal, crush card still legal, Premature Burial to reborn this commander. Same with Call of the Haunted to get those two draws. The deck was very, very good back then. And then, uh, yeah, the second deck list is, of course, Diva Zombies. The main cards here in the deck are, of course, uh, Triple Tragodia. Tragodia, a very nice beat stick. And at the same time, it provides defense and offense. It can have a huge attack of 3k and more. And it, of course, uh, stimulates your, uh, of course, yeah, boosts your uh, synchro plays. And mainly, I'm looking here at Burial Neck, which was still at 3 back then. So, very cool to discard with Mizuki. Immediately bounce something back to the hand, cleared away for a possible OTK and reuse your Mizuki with the triple burial from a different dimension. So, so good. And Heavy Storm and Roar Oppression are still in the deck here. So which deck has the advantage? Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not really sure. I think uh, Zombies have the advantage because of Roar Oppression, because of Trogodia um, and all of the recruiters, uh, you know, uh, Mystic Tomato, Perma Turtle. But uh, yeah, on the other side we have... Uh, yeah, Light and Darkness Dragon is still a very good boss monster. It's, yeah, currently it's of course power creeped with all of the new decks, but uh, Zombies is kind of slow deck. It needs setup, so a uh, card like Drag Light, Light and Darkness Dragon can definitely tear holes in the zombie setup. So let's hop in into the first game. Alright, uh, the first game. Uh, I think uh, he gets a start. Uh, I think so, yeah, and he immediately passes. Of course, I know the decklist, I know he's playing uh, Dragodia, so it's obvious that he either has Dragodia or Gorse. Um, immediately Goldsark for Crush card, since that's most of the time the card you want to banish with Goldsark or yeah, maybe a Destiny draw. So I search out this commander, I believe, and attack for 1800. The Devils of Dragodia, he heavy storms, maybe contemplating a big push. Uh, no, yeah, with the Tomato, he, was, yeah, he would have been able to search out Spirit. Reaper. So he would have been able to attack over my Stratos with Dragodia and Reaper would have been able to attack directly. But yeah, scapegoats save the day. And I think I set my Marshmallow. Um, yeah, the Crush card is still one turn away. There is the Chaos, also very nice about the zombie deck list here. That Caius and also all the recruiters and the searches. Goblin Zombie to search out any zombie you want. Immediately Typhoon the back row and set my uh, Disc Commander and the Crush card. He knows what's coming up. And uh, yeah, as... As we saw in previous yeah, previous matches in the Cross Bandless tournament and Cross Bandless Cup, a card like Crash Card Pre Erwata is so so disgusting. It steals so many games if a player is able to draw into it and getting it off. Um, it's not an instant win against some decks, but uh, yeah, the, the, the hand information you get, it's so good. Um, but my opponent is still he's playing well, playing well of course, and uh, he can make a comeback thanks to Burial from a different dimension. He goes for Hades, which definitely was a very nice pick. Um, yeah, yeah, he obviously can expect it to Fearmonger set and my Mirror Force is useless because of Stardust. So he's yeah, kind of has a comeback under Crush Card. Very nice, very well played by him. Um, yeah, I see his next card. But yeah, as I feared, he goes for the Brio Neck, right? Yeah, Brio Neck. Um, I don't think he activated the effect. Not really sure. No, yeah, he bounced one of my monsters back, which was the Spirit Reaper, which was a nice top deck on my part since Hades does not destroy Spirit Reaper by battle, so it can't get the negation uh, yeah, effect. But 
Yeah, no back row, so that Brionek can bounce back one of my monsters back to the hand and he can attack for a game. So he wins this duel under Crush Guard. Very nice, definitely a well played out game. Uh, next duel, I get to start to set a Sengen and set uh, one of my back rows. Not really sure, yeah, the Mirror Force indeed. Um, have the Disc Commander, have the Premature Brutal. So again, risking my Disc Commander set here if he has a Chaos. I think that was my only play, uh, so he's also playing it safe, uh, very passive again, just uh, poking with that goblin zombie, I take my chance, normal summon breaker, try to pop one of his back rows, uh, yeah, potentially clear the way for light and darkness dragon, he gets somewhat greedy, yeah, quote unquote greedy, it's not really greedy since uh, goblin zombie does get a surge effect, he attacks into mirror force, but uh, yeah, that's spirit reaper I believe, yeah, the spirit reaper would have been able, yeah, possibly pick again one card from my hand and send it to the grave. Uh, set my fearmonger since I do have this commander in my hand and now we are going into a very slow game but That's what you get uh, two very quote-unquote slow decks uh, Zombies uh, also rely on the opponent attacking into their recruiters like mystic tomato pyramid turtle Otherwise you can just crash your uh, recruiters into your opponents big monsters But the perfect circle also has the same thing with uh, fearmongers and so on so both decks, uh, it's it's somewhat uh, stale now. So I try to break open the field uh, because I know I have Crush Card and I have Disc Commander. So normal summon Stratos get the search, and then uh, I think no no I popped yeah one of his back rows. I popped the Mirror Force I think, and then Typhoon his last back row to make sure that it's not the mystical space Typhoon. Yeah, he probably would have uh, activated on the Disc Commander earlier, but uh, you know what I mean. So set the Crush Card immediately get information about your opponent's hand. I think I only destroy one with Crush Card, but uh, the hand in the formation is is of course much more important here since i know what my opponent can do what his options are and now i can just gold sark and banish the rise i believe yeah suicide with fearmonger to get a search next or at least yeah to reborn my disc commander next turn and if he has heavy storm minor risk here from my part i still have goats to protect me uh, so he runs into torrential tribute which is fine, I guess. He has double burial in his hand, so he can reduce. I think he only has. Yeah, he has two Mizukis. Okay, so that double burial is definitely going to pay off. And he knows that he has to attack for game, since um, this commander is going to be special summoned during my turn, during the next turn. So if he's not going to uh, make a game here, i probably going to win on my turn. So he can't due to scapegoats coming through. Brain control, the guardian, and they can do his Hades. Of course, going to reborn it, why not? Um, and then tribute both uh, the monsters for Light and Darkness Dragon. He again makes a good move, puts Burial on Chain Link 1. Light and Darkness Dragon has to activate as Chain Link 2, and then the Bottomless is chained, which is fine. Okay, he gets his double Mizuki back, but I still have both my back rows, so that's also very nice. Wing Blast, his monster prevent him from going for the Synchro Summon. He goes to Stardust, but uh, that's not going to be enough. I top dig into Ryza, and yeah, the Gold Sark Ryza. Uh, is sent back, at least I can take back the Cold Sark Ryza back to my hand and uh, now I can get him into the Ryza lock and I still think I have that Treeborn Frog set up from earlier, uh, the Foolish Birdle I believe and now I can nicely Ryza lock him. Um, so yeah, the Treeborn here, very nice, very nostalgic Treeborn is Tribute Zone for the second Ryza and now the Ryza lock is going on, attack for 4,800 yeah, 4, damage and that's GG well played. So two very very nice games already, both uh, some quite good plays, very nice. Okay, so the deciding game, game number three. Um, I'm not going to attack, I don't want to attack into either Pyramid Turtle or whatever, into um, yeah, Goblin Zombie. Then you have the risk not attacking into Goblin Zombie and then yeah, he has f a possible father for uh, Chaos, but I take the chance. And eventually it was a Mystic Tomato and here... Very nice. I do have Treeborn Frog set up and Double Ryza in hand. Together with Light and Darkness Dragon, I'm in a very good position. Um, so I have the Ryza lock going on and I don't think he has, he has a lot of outs to this. I think the only out is uh, something like, of course, Torrential Tribute, maybe Mirror Force, but uh, I'm definitely going for the second Ryza. Bounce back his monster. Okay, he has a Torrential Tribute. I'll find I keep Rota in hand. Uh, just in case uh, to act accordingly next turn. Uh, if I want to search out Stratos or something else. Uh, but he reveals a Reaper. And I was like, no, don't pick the Rota. Yeah, with the Rota, I was also able to search out Spell Strike. So that's why I waited with Rota. Possibly needed Spell Strike to get Light and Darkness Dragon on board. So that Reaper. Okay, discards one of my destiny draws. That's not bad. 
and then the Stratos deals some damage. Yeah, that also was a risk on my part here, leaving the Treeborn on my side of the field. Um, but yeah, that was a risk I think I had to take. Chaos uh, wasn't in his hand. I, I think I said it back with Trap Dash Shooter, right? But now he only has two cards in his hand. Premature Burial for this commander, Foolish Burial, something to send from my deck to the grave, and boom, Light and Darkness Dragon on board, and against most older decks, this was pretty much game over. I mean, your opponent has to waste a lot of cards, they have to invest, Smashing Ground here, banish Mizuki from the grave, he does have Tragodia, so if uh, some, yeah, so if a monster deals damage, the opponent reveals Tragodia, to reveal, yeah, Tragodia stays in hand, since Light and Darkness Dragon only negates and not destroys, and it drops 500. Uh, attack points. So he sets one monster. I'm not really sure what the monster is, but it's not going to matter. Top dig into one of my Ryzas, bounce back his monster, and attack for game. So very nice. Um, yeah, small comeback here with uh, the Destiny Hero engine with heroes and perfect circle. The Ryza lock definitely paid off, but yeah, let's face it, Crush card was also very, very crucial sometimes here in the duel. Um, so yeah. Perfect circle, light and darkness dragon, dot deck, uh, take the three points here, uh, and then up the third place here in the group. So next match will be Evil Swarms, and Shadal's facing it off in the next match, so we'll see which deck will end up first place here in the group. So guys, thanks for watching, and feel free to leave a comment or a like if you enjoyed the video. Meet them signing out. Peace.